Brian Terrian here from the Disability Digest with some information about the Social Security Disability Approval Process non-medical requirements. Many people going through the process are focused on their conditions. I have this condition, that condition, so on and so forth. But in order to qualify for a check, you need to meet the non-medical uh, requirements. And from what I see in you know, the 17 years that I've been doing this work here at the Disability Digest is this um, is in two areas of the disability application. Uh, it, it's common that people are coming in to apply for disability and they may or may not meet the non-medical requirements. They're not aware of them. And then as you're going through the disability approval process, they are evaluated again. Um, so I'm going to go through this situation that's on the screen. This is a screenshot from a Facebook group. Um, that happens once in a while. It's not real common. Uh, but in this uh, instance, what happened is um, there, my SSA account says a representative has started a final review of your application. Um, and it says a representative started a final real review to make sure that you still meet the non-medical requirements for disability benefits. So this commonly means that the medical requirements um, have been met, which is, in my opinion, experience, good news, because those are the most difficult uh, ones to meet. So what are the non-medical? The non-medical are uh, like your citizenship, that needs to be confirmed that you are indeed uh, a citizen. Um, also, they're going to look at your work history. Have you worked enough and paid taxes to qualify for a disability check? And you might be thinking, well, why didn't they do that in the beginning when you started the disability process? So it's a really good question, and I have no answer for that one. It would make sense to me <clears throat> rather than have somebody go through this entire evaluation. Um, the next and the last major thing that they're going to be looking for is are you working or have you worked throughout the approval process? Um, and if you're working and earning over the allowed amount and you've and you've met the medical, then that would disqualify you. So those are the the key things. So it's really for those of you that are coming in and going through and want to know what the non-medical are that you need to meet, it is have you worked enough to earn enough credits to get a disability check? Um, you can simply log on to your My SSA account and figure that out. Um, and then also understand what the earnings guidelines are, uh, both for when you're going through the approval process and then there are separate regulation for once you're approved. So hopefully that's helpful. But again, if you received a message like this in your My SSA account, uh, for the most part, that is good news. That means that your, your medical has been confirmed. I hope you find this helpful here at the Disability Digest. Uh, we help you do three things. Uh, get your benefits approved fast hopefully help you keep them, help you maximize them. We sure hope you enjoy the work that we do. Encourage you to subscribe if you do. Um, and then uh, ring the bell, join us for other events that we have here at the Disability Digest. Thanks again for listening. Make it a great day.